I'm playing around a little bit more in my scout guide altered art journal book thing um, I thought I'd just kind of flip through and show you what I've done some I've done on camera some off camera but I am posting pictures on my Instagram so follow me there on Instagram if you want to see pictures of things that don't make it to YouTube uh, that link is down in the video description so yeah I did put this fabulous station wagon on the cover right here. This came out of an old, um, I, don't, I forget, Life magazine or Good Housekeeping or something from the 60s. And um, the kind of the green in the car sort of picked up the green gold of the logo here. So I, I had to do it. You know, I had to. And I'll probably do more stuff on here, but it's going to get all kind of chewed up while I'm working on it. So um, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I've put a few things in here that I might use. Some postcards that I have that are kind of artsy looking. So I have some maybe stuff going on. And let's see if there are any new pages since the last video. I think I did that one on the last video. This one is new. I did this just the other day. I put a napkin here, a piece of my painty papers here, and then a piece of, I'm not really even sure where I got that. I put it right there. And I'll show you the original. Looks like this. And I did this at Rosemary Morris's house, and she had some pastels out. Vicki Ross was using pastels, so that's what these are, just um, chalk pastels. A little bit there. And I did some major cutting out right here. This is just a spare piece that I kind of glued back into the place where I cut out. Here's here's what this was. This one's been kind of stressing me out because this is a lot of white space, you know. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what to do with all that white space. I like the girls here, but you know, this was just, I had a lot of blank space going on. So I cut this page out. I, actually, I cut this one out too over here. And what I did was I cut out the people so, you know, here's this guy. He was on the page with the uh, piece of art right here. And then this girl was right there. And then these two girls were from the fold-out part. This one and this one. I left her alone. I'll figure out something to do with her. And, you know, I mean, these are just, these are fun. I can put these on other pages somewhere and this will be interesting. These two are killing me because look I mean I didn't realize they were kind of they're not really next to each other yeah they are they're kind of next to each other and see how his hands kind of out and then hers is like this you know so it's kind of like he's reaching for her and look when you cut them out they can actually hold hands <laughs> So I love this. I don't even know if they know each other. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but if they don't, that like he needs to totally ask her out for coffee because they're just adorable. And look, look how easy they can hold hands. I think, I think this would just be great. It's gonna be really awkward, like if one of them is married or something, and then I'm sitting here, I've got them like holding hands and looking like they're on a date. <laughs> I hope they never run into each other if that's the case. Or if they work together, it's going to be really awkward. <laughs> but I'm loving this. <laughs> and I just kind of need a, a place for them to go. And then I also, it's kind of misshapen, but I did cut out the art because I do like it. And I'll use it somewhere because it can just, you know, it can be a thing somewhere. Now, see like I thought, I might put them right here they can hold hands and be like just like that but it's a little dark because they're they're dressed in dark clothing and don't have any contrast there so let's see yeah we saw that one everybody who sees this page loves it that one just really really worked um this one it works too like i haven't really done hardly anything to it except i covered this up with this scrapbook paper which was just perfect it, it looks like it goes 
Nothing there. Okay, <laughs> I have to admit, I'm, I'm considering this, and I hope this girl doesn't mind. That I'm, I might cover her up with a frog. <laughs> Nothing personal. She is lovely. The whole photo is lovely, but look at this frog. The soft colors of the frog, they just kind of work right here. I mean, look. You know, and then I could put, like, pull one of these colors out and put something down here. <laughs> I think I just might have to do this. I'm still kind of tossing it around, but the frog works. It just works. So I don't know how I can not do it. So hopefully she's got a good sense of humor. Um, no ideas there yet. This one I did with paper, uh, scrapbook paper, and it was the kind that's flocked, you know? It's like fuzzy feeling. So, yeah, it's kind of weird and cool. And then graphic tape, that's all I did with that one, and I like it just like it is. And... Uh, this one I did over the weekend, and let me find that page in here. Um... This one. Okay, here's what it looked like. It just had these four sections, and I just collaged different scrap papers over them. And this one, this was a paper napkin down here, and it kind of, stuff kind of showed through. See, there was this blue suit, and these blue bottles, and these jeans. So I kind of picked up that blue with a, a chalk pastel, and you know, just kind of, spread the love spread the blue <laughs> and I'm thinking I might do a little bit more because this bag see this kind of brownish leather bag shows through and I might pick that up only lighter like a peachy color and paint in the flower color in the flower or something and add some peachy accents here and there maybe still thinking about that okay this maroon 5 postcard it was like born to go here right it was born to go there it just kind of has to i think it needs something behind it um, to help it stand apart from the background a little bit but the colors are just perfect just perfect so that is definitely going to go there in some way these girls are still looking fab as is this one and i love this page nothing else going on this one okay these i just like the black borders here i don't have any desire to do anything else there this this is actually a map of northwest arkansas it's, a, it's an artist's rendering um, um allison hobbs colorscapes number two acrylic and oil on canvas and it is northwest arkansas she's got the the legend over here you know, like here's the Razorback Stadium, and here's Crystal Bridges, and this is Bella Vista way up there, and the Razorback Greenway. I mean, she's just got it all. <laughs> it is so cool. I mean, at first glance, you might not realize what you're looking at, and then when you see all the stuff, it's like, oh, oh yeah, and this is probably, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I love this. But look at this postcard. Doesn't it look like it should go? I think it does. And this is from um, blah, blah, blah that I can't pronounce and blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> I think it needs to go there. I think it's um, German. Uh, it was from Germany. But I'm just loving it there. So that's probably going to live there. Now, this is a good option for these two because, you know, I can have them. I insist that his thumb is like, like they're actually holding hands. They're interlocked because that makes me happy. So look, I mean, they could go here. I could put some kind of background on them. Or I even thought they could go here on this page because I like this part. This is not really all that exciting. But what if I cover this up with another piece of decorative paper or something? And then they're like standing here. That could work. I'm really kind of liking that. So yeah, I've got options for my happy couple here. I'm gonna think about that some more and uh, see what I come up with. But for now, okay, maybe I should find somewhere to put this one. 
know. Because it could be a cool, I mean, it could even just be like be its own thing. But what if we do that and then this little hands? Hold her hand. There you go. Maybe. Or even, even this girl. Oh. Oh! That's where that goes. Okay. What are we going to do about this? All right. She's got browns going on. So, what kind of a background do I have? Let me look in my brown stuff. Ooh, I've got this cool cork. This is cork paper. It's not quite big enough, but that does make kind of a cool background. Does it not? I could fill in with black around the edges where I could just make it look like it's framed. I'm liking it. Oh, that was easy. It was like freaky easy. All right. So for the black around the edges, how about we just take some cheap black craft paint and a little brush and just brush some black around. not make a giant mess. Not the right brush. Here's the right brush. All right. is about right. Got about about the same amount of border all the way around. No need to be perfect. Now I want to stick it down and I'm going to use uh, this one's right in front of me. This is Helmar Professional Acid Free Glue. This is just very similar to a PVA white glue, Elmer's. It's a very wet glue. It'll buckle your paper. But we're going to use it sparingly so maybe it won't be too bad. Okay. I'm make sure that's what I want. And it is just like that. Make sure it's not these guys that I want on here. They look good too, but I think I like her. This girl on the art. I like that better. Yes. Makes me happier. So, use my same glue and glue this down. Oh, I love that. That's so awesome. It just looks like she belongs right there. All right, now, now maybe, where'd my postcard go? Did it fall out with the other ones? Yeah, it did. Um, to get, to get these fabulous ideas and then piece of paper moves and I forget all about them. All right, this one. What can I put here that kind of goes with this that my happy couple who are about to be engaged can stand on, you know, like that. Okay, this one has potential. This came out of a, probably a Somerset studio once upon a time. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna cut it to fit kinda sorta. Okay, that works for me. So 
so I'm going to glue that down. I think I need something, something stronger here. I need this uh, premium Helmar Premium Craft glue, which is a sticky. Where's my? Gosh, you know my favorite super sticky glue is Tom Ball Tombow's Mono Multi Liquid Glue, and I had a container in my hand the other day. I don't know where I said it. Anyway, that's a good one. Okay, that's fabulous, just like it is. Do I need a little something to cover the seam? Okay, so I dug through my washi tape and found this piece of lovely tape. And I'm just gonna kind of stick it along the seam a little bit, about, about in pieces. There. And there. And here. There. That's what I want. Okay, now, when I was looking for the washi tape, a, um, an old issue of Flow magazine caught my eye and I flipped through it and y'all look what I found this gorgeous floral pattern background and look look it says feel connected yes <laughs> it's perfect <laughs> and I can put it right back here yep I can use this other page right here just like that for them to feel connected. So I'm gonna trim this down, put this together, and oh, this is gonna make me so happy. I'm so excited. There we have it. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. Y'all, we made a love badge. And look, the look on her face, she looks like totally terrified, and he looks completely bored. They're like the perfect millennial couple. <laughs> love this one too okay that is enough for today um <laughs> i'm having way too much fun with this i'm gonna have some more fun tomorrow probably i don't know i may film i may not like i said um catch me on instagram if you want to see pictures of what i don't film and until i film again the end